Hi, this is Ishu with A Speaks Commerce Video Trainings and today I'm going to show you to set up PayPal as a payment method and also to check out using PayPal in your store. PayPal has become the payment method of choice for a swift and quick transaction for many customers over years. That's why A Speaks Commerce comes with PayPal Payment Gateway at its installation which only needs to be enabled and configured from the control panel. To configure PayPal in SPX Commerce, hover to Administration in Control Panel and click on Payment Methods. You can see Cash and Delivery and PayPal as a default payment methods. To configure PayPal in your store, click on Settings button, which prompts you to PayPal setting fields. In the Return URL field, enter the URL for a buyer to be redirected to after the payment success. Please remember you can only change the domain name which can be store wise or portal wise. You cannot change the page name. Return URL needs to be same as specified in your PayPal website preferences for which you need to turn on auto return for website payment. We will get to PayPal profile settings in a while. On the next field, enter the URL for a buyer to be redirected when the payment gets cancelled. Business account is your merchant account provided by PayPal at the time of registration. Enter the verification URL to redirect. It needs to be same as mentioned in your PayPal account. To configure it, go to your profile in PayPal and click instant payment notification. Click on edit settings button. Now you need to make sure to click on receive IPN messages enabled to specify the verification URL. The notification URL and verification URL needs to be same so make sure to copy the same notification URL and paste in verification URL as well. Also please make sure you can only replace the domain name not the page name. In the next field, enter the authentication token received from PayPal. To acquire authentication token, you need to click on website payment preferences in PayPal profile. Make sure to turn on auto return for website payments and the return URL needs to be same as specified in your PayPal setting information in control panel in return. Turn on the payment data transfer to generate the authentication token which, which is mandatory to configure PayPal in ASPX Commerce. Once you're done, it will generate the identity token which is the authentication token. Copy it and make sure to save the settings. Now we're going to apply the same token in the, as the authentication token in our control panel. Click on the checkbox to run the site in test mode and make sure to deselect the checkbox before running the site live. I'm going to run the site in test mode so I'm going to leave it as checked. Finally, click the save button to apply the configuration settings. Once the configuration has finished, you need to click on Actions icon and click edit option and you need to activate the payment option and click the save button now I'm quickly going to show you to check out using PayPal in payment information tab in front end I already have two items in my cart so I'm directly going to click on check out For more information on single pay checkout method and checking out as a guest user or a registered user, you, you can watch video for the same in our YouTube channel. Now I'm quickly going to use the billing address that I already have in my system and I'm going to use the same for the shipping address as well. Select the shipping method. I'm going to select PayPal as my payment information and click on continue. 
Click on place order using PayPal. This convenience button directly takes you to PayPal site for payment. Now you have your order summary in the left hand side of the page and you can log in with your PayPal account and enjoy shopping. Well this concludes our video for configuring PayPal in a Speaks Commerce. I hope this video was of help to you. Thanks for watching and enjoy using a Speaks Commerce.